welcome. And uh, we'll have people join us right now, one by one. And welcome to our conference this morning. And we're going to wait for people to stream in from their different locations around the country and around the world and, and do this. And we'll give about another, another minute or so for everyone to join as we see the different participants coming in. All right. And I think we have folks coming in. I'm Dr. Vernon Smith, Provost of the American Public University System, which includes American Military University and American Public University. We are very pleased to be able to, in cooperation and support from the Policy Studies Organization, to present to you the third annual Space Education and Strategic Applications Conference. And the conference in its third year um, has continued to grow in name, in reputation, but also in opportunities. During this conference, we will have the opportunity to not only hear from some great speakers like the one that will be coming up at 9 a.m. Eastern time uh, that uh, you'll have. How many times do you get to hear an astronaut on your daily week or weekly basis? But um, we also have interesting sessions that are for anyone from the military and aspects that are looking at military applications and strategies in space to public policy and uh, policymakers and understanding the implications that we have in so many realms, such as environmental and uh, um, commercial space interests and applications, and as well as those that just have an interest, an abiding interest in, in space and the study of that. Our desire as an institution of higher education is to help bridge the gap for skills, knowledge, and abilities that are needed as we become more of a space-faring people uh, as on a global scale. The space industry is considered a 13 trillion, that's with a T, trillion dollar industry that continues to expand. An American public university system is here. We have space studies programs. We have other ways of supporting, including the journal that is, comes out for this a conference named after this conference, the Space Education and Strategic Applications Journal, which is published through the Policy Studies Organization. Those proceedings, opportunities, or other ways that you would like to participate, perhaps publish research or applications. It's not just the, the pure resource, but it's the application of how space education and, and space policy and all things space come together. We also welcome and recognize there are participants from all around the globe. And space is one thing that unites us. From space, there are no political land lines that we see. There are no maps. And we understand that we truly are all common in our humanity, common as brothers and sisters. So during this day uh, and tomorrow, we hope that you will be able to see and know of those areas of their interest to you and also join in the community of those that seek to improve and to study our, our commercial military space policy and application in so many ways. And I, uh, again, welcome you from American Public University System and the Policy Studies Organization and hope that you have a great day. Now, one thing that's also important that I'll point out is that on the Whova uh, app, the Whova app that you have, and if you haven't downloaded that, please download that. That will give you information about the speakers, about materials. It'll also give you information about uh, the schedule and how to get in links to that. So I really encourage you to load that app up uh, during your, your time to make it a little bit more convenient and also to give you the information and the follow-up that you need. Again, I'm Dr. Vernon Smith. I want to thank uh, uh, Daniel Gutierrez, some of all that's uh, uh, helping us and su supporting these systems, along with uh, Dr. Paul Rich. Um, and on behalf of uh, uh, 
Mr. Nuno Fernandez, our president at American Public University System, as well as our board of trustees. We welcome you to the third annual Space Education and Strategic Applications Conference.